Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you basic editing for Final Cut Pro that is perfect for your YouTube video. So let's get started. Heads up, I put in the description box time frames of certain things that I do in this video. So if you just want to skip to certain parts, that'll be in the description box for you all to select. The first thing you want to do is prepare Final Cut Pro for your editing. So where you go to is up to the top of your screen. You're going to select File and then you're going to select a New and then you're going to select new library. So what new library is, is that it is a big folder that's going to have your subfolders in. So I'm gonna call this library April. I press save and all your libraries appear on the left hand side over here. Okay, so next, after doing April as the big subfolder, in that, I'm going to go back to File, do New, Event. Now, New Event is a subfolder of what, just say, look at New Event as a subfolder. So this is going to be a subfolder of, just say, the videos I do in April. So then, I'm going to click New Event, and then I'm going to write, makeup so I'm gonna be doing makeup in the month of April so okay this is just good for organization you can say that okay so it appears right here now after doing that we're gonna go back to file select new and select new project new project is basically the storyboard at the bottom here I'll just circle around it this storyboard here this is where all your files are going to go. This is your timeline where you're going to cut, edit, add, delete. So that's what it basically is. So new project. And then you, I don't really name it. And then once new project is saved, it's saved inside the subfolder of makeup. Okay. Now I'm going to show you all how to import files. So what you're going to want to do right now is go to file. Select import and then import media. Again, there's all shortcuts you can do this, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you all. So this is what appears. A cool thing about import, you can have a preview of the file that you want, and then you can even look at it for a bit to see if it's the correct video that you want to use. Okay, so I'm gonna import select. So all your imports appear, and the good thing about Final Cut Pro is that Everything loads so fast, like really, really, really fast. So that's a good thing. And then if you want to import your photos, there's a little section over here on the left above your libraries. There is add photos, add photos, add music and sound effects. But I think the faster way doing all of that instead of searching throughout your whole entire computer is going to file import media and then you'll be able to grab and search for everything much more faster now I'm going to show you all how to add the files onto your timeline so some people prefer watching the video before adding and you can see the videos in the preview screen right here of course to your right and then you click the file and then you could either come over to the preview screen here underneath it there is a play button and then there's the time code, as they call it. I don't know. And then you can click play. Or a shortcut that I always do to press play is hit the space bar. Play to the rules. And then you can just preview everything. Okay, and then all you're going to do is drag and drop. That is like the theme of Final Cut Pro drag and drop. So what you're going to do is grab your file, make sure it's selected, and then drop it onto the timeline. Some people, this is a little shortcut you all can do with dragging your files onto Final Cut Pro. You can sh shorten the yellow strip that's surrounding the outside area of your video. And say if I only want this part of me with my mouth like that, all I would do is just shorten the clip like that and the yellow square or rectangle whatever it is now 
all, that will just show you that you only want this. And then I can just drag it and it will only give me this part here. And then I can always elongate it. So it is like that. Okay, so let's say I don't, I made a mistake and I didn't want this small little clip on my timeline, I'm going to delete it. And the way you delete is by going on your keyboard and selecting delete. That is the only way. Or if you deleted that clip and you're like, oh no, I didn't want to delete it. How do I get that clip back? What you're going to do is go up to edit and select undo delete. And then you have your missing file back again. Okay, now I'm going to show you all how to cut your videos in like half or whatever amounts you want. What you're going to do is, do you see this like on your project timeline? You see like a, a white bar strip. I don't know what the correct term is called. But with this cool thing here, it'll show you the preview of your video. And you can use that to determine where you want to cut. So say I want to cut right here. I'll drag it to right there. And then I'm going to select the clip. And then there are two ways you can do this. You can go to this little gray strip right here. And then you see a mouse icon. You can select that and then select a blade. And this will cut your file. You just drag it over to the, the white line. And then it will cut your file in half. But after when you're done using Blade, you have to go back up to the little drop down icon menu and, and click select because if you don't, you'll still have the blade in your hand and you'll be like cutting up all your videos. So with that, you can like, now you can move your file the way you want it. Okay, perfect. Another way you can do that is selecting command B and command B will cut it as well on your keyboard. Now I'm going to show you all how to lower and raise your voice in the videos. So I'm speaking right here so I'm going to press play and again play is with the keyboard spacebar. So I'm going to press play. Play to the rules. So that's the volume right now. You can adjust the volume by going I don't, I don't know if you all can see this on the clip here, but where it has the little mountain looking stiff, there's a line. So this line shows zero decimal zero de dB decibels. I think that's the correct term for dB. The line in the middle of the clip where you can adjust the volume as the little drop down thing shows you. And you can adjust it. Adjust it to go higher or adjust it to go lower. Now, the thing with volume, if you see a yellowish red color on your volume, that means the sound is too high. And what you want to do is just lower your sound until you don't see the yellowish red anymore. So I'm just going to lower it. And then I don't see it anymore, so it's good. And then you just bring your marker. Play to the wall. And you can make it any level. You can turn up the volume if you want. You want to lower the volume. Now, I'm going to show you all how to add music onto this. So what you want to do is, so now you can go back up to where your subfolders are, your, li your libraries. And above it, you can see that it has short, hide photos and audio, and then text. We're going to select the audio button. So... I'm going to go to iTunes, and then if you have music in your iTunes, it should all appear here. But if you don't have music in your iTunes, you can go to File, Import, Media, and you can drop and bring it in. And if you don't want to do it that way, so we'll just go to iTunes. You look for the song that you want. And then you drag and drop, like I told you all. And I don't really have that much music on my computer. I don't really listen to music. So you can listen to it. Play to the rules. 
So say I don't want any sounds on my regular video, I'm going to turn it down. And I just turn it down by controlling the little line in between the video here underneath it. And then you're going to drag it to the bottom. If you want to raise the volume, drag it to the top. And the same goes with music. In the middle of the music, the music file, there's a line that goes through that says adjust volume. Sorry for my voice, everybody. <laughs> You're going to lower or raise the volume to your liking. And then you can lower it if you have talking in your video. Just lower it. I don't really have a set number. And then you play it. Or I can play it by right here. Perfect. So once that is done, you can do the same with cutting the music files. Make sure when you're cutting, you're selecting the correct clip or you're going to be cutting your video clip. So what you want to do is Command B or you go up to the drop down here to delete. And we easily deleted that. Okay, now with music, you can fade in and fade out your music. And you do that by going with a lower the volume because yellow is showing so hold on so you can fade in and fade out your music by going to this little circle here and see how those two arrows come in and out it's gonna show fade audio out and what you want to do is drag the audio to your left and then vice versa on the beginning you drag it to your right and then this is how it sounds fading out I can I really like it I'm gonna fade it out a little bit more yeah so it's perfect so that's how you fade and fade out music okay now I'm going to show you all how I put writing on my videos now what you want to go do is go over to your left side here at the top of your screen and then select the T button and it just shows you can do titles that's the term and there's a lot many 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 titles you all can choose from and you just have to go down this long list to see what matches your style but for me now, thing that matches my style is just a basic title and I'm just going to drag and drop it to where I want it. And then you can adjust how long or how short you want your title to be by going to the end of the title and then dragging it. Perfect. Now, to edit the writing, you're going to click on the basic title, and then this on the right side here, this pop-up will appear. And then under text, you're just going to write. So now, I'm going to drag it by bring it somewhere, and I'm just going to place it there. The cool thing about this is that you can adjust the font, the size, the spacing, all of that right here. Or you can already go to pre-made ones, which will show you 3D style ones or 2D style ones. And I'm okay with 2D style. So let's just use heavy, I guess. Nah, I don't like that actually. So let's go back to 2D style. There's many you can choose from. Just find something that fits your style. Let's try that one. Alicia Adams. So let's play it. So remember when you want to play something, you have to drag this little ticky thing to wherever you want it to start. And then you press play. So that is cool. Okay, now I'm going to show you all how to slow down fast forward or we rewind your clip. Now to slow down your video, you're going to go here where your preview screen is and then you're going to go over to your left hand side and then here you're going to have three little icons and I'm going to go through these icons with you but right now we're going to focus on this clock icon and this is what's going to change your free timing of your video so you have the slow option and I'm just going to show you all how it looks.
and you can go back here and say if you're like oh no I don't want this little thing anymore you just click normal and I'll bring it back to the normal time frame and then you can fast forward your clip and this is really good if you're like cutting stuff or showing things so just fast forward it And then if you want to rewind your clip, make sure you select the clip that you actually want to rewind. You go back here to the drop down menu, select rewind, and I'm just going to press 1x. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to go bring it back to normal. Okay, so that's how you slow rewind and fast forward your clip. Now you can actually edit your videos on here. You go back to this little color icon under the preview screen. You select it and then show color board. And here you can adjust the saturation, the exposure to match your style. But I don't really use any of these, but that's just how you color your video. So I'm going to go back up to the top here press edit and undo modify color edit undo modify color okay so that's coloring for you all okay a cool thing that you all can do on Final Cut Pro that I always wondered how these youtubers did it so do you know how when you're talking and like they show a product while they're still talking up on the screen you're like how do they do that this is how they do it so I'm going to drag this clip here and drop it above this clip. And I'm going to select the top here to bring that little long ticky thingy. And I'm just going to cut till right here. And then I'm going to delete this by pressing the delete button. And then I'm going to turn down the volume. So this is how they do it. Here's a little secret I'm showing you all. So there's that. Then they put the file on top of the place that they want. Did you see that? So basically you drop the file above the regular video. So I'm going to show you all how to do voiceovers. So where you want to go is go to the top of your board here. You're going to select window. And then for drop down window. So the drop down of window is going to show voice record voiceover. Then you're going to select it and this little screen here is going to appear. I don't touch anything from this screen here. I just leave it how it is. All you're going to want to do is select start recording. So you're going to select it and then it just does a countdown to prepare you. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you all how to put gel in your hair. And then once you're done, you just select the pause button. And then the good thing about Final Cut Pro is that it automatically saves your file onto your project timeline so you don't have to import anything which is good and oh another thing about Final Cut Pro is that it automatically saves your files for you so you don't have to be worrying about saving your projects and your events and all that stuff Final Cut Pro automatically does it for you every single time you do something let's play the narration Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you all how to put gel in your hair. Yeah, perfect. So you can adjust the volume of your narration as well by increasing it. And now I'm going to quickly show you all how to add photos to your Final Cut Pro. I have a full video on that, so I'll link that video down below. So I'm just going to show you very quickly. So I'm just going to go to File, Import, Media. So if anyone any one of you wants to add, know how to add like the subscribe button or the Instagram button on your videos I have a whole tutorial for that if any of you are interested okay let's add this onto your video so what you're gonna do is just drag and then drop the photo anywhere onto your timeline and then you can adjust the length of how long you want the photo on your timeline by adjusting the ends of the photo. Okay, so you're going to select the photo now on the timeline. And it should appear. Oh, 
Yeah, so as you can see, it's covering the whole entire video, and you don't want that. So we're going to go back up to the preview screen here, and then you're going to select the crop icon. A drop down is going to come, and then you're going to select transform. And this is going to change the sizing of the picture. And that's what you want. And then you can adjust like how it looks. I'm going to drag it over to the side of your screen here and then select done. So that's how you add photos onto your Final Cut Pro. It's so cool. Perfect. Okay, so honestly, this is the basics for Final Cut Pro. That's all you really need to make your YouTube videos and that's all I use. Okay, and now I'm going to show you all how to export. So to export, you go to File, you go to Share, make sure you select Share, not Export. I did Export before and I was like, what? So what you want to do is select Share and then you're going to select Master File, select Master File. And then this is going to appear. You can change your writing, your description if you want. I don't touch anything, I just leave it. You go to Next and then I usually name it here. Final Cut Pro. And by the way, that video here, that's in my thumbnails on my channel if anyone's interested in watching that. And then you select Save. And then it's saving for you. I'm going to show you how you can tell that it's saving. At the top here to your left, you have like these little exit, minimize, and enlarge buttons. We're going to go over to the little circle here and select it and then it's showing you that it's sharing and it appears on your screen right here once it's done. But it shows you right here everything that's happening called background tasks. It'll show you that it's saving it on this little file here. It'll show that it's sharing it so exporting it. It'll show that it's backing up your stuff. But this is what where it shows you everything. That is happening all right so yeah that's all for today's video thank you all for watching if you found it helpful make sure you comment down below or you hit the thumbs up button if you have any questions comment down below i'll be looking but yeah that's all for today's video and i hope you all enjoyed it i'll see you all in my next one au revoir